Hi Witchlings, welcome back to my channel. It is me, your local chaotic witch aunt, and I am completely covered by animals at the moment. It is officially November 1st, which means, do do do, we're starting NaNoWriMo. You probably saw this in my last video when I was just talking about like basics of NaNoWriMo, but I am moving this weekend, which is great. Benji thinks it's great. It's a wonderful house. Um, and I am today taking over a couch with my boyfriend. So I'm gonna see if I can squeeze in a little bit of words because the goal is like a thousand a day. I don't think we're gonna make that. So I'm opening up my document. I also really don't want to move, which is why you're getting like this angle because the babies. There's also a bag of peas here because I pulled my neck. Don't mind me. Don't mind me and my peas. So let's see if we can get some some word some words in today. Uh, we'll see. Um, I have not figured out the name of the main character's sister yet. <laughs> so we're gonna do what every good writer does and go look up baby names. So I don't want it super close, but I do want the same vibe. Somewhere I wrote out the entire religious mythology for this book. And now I can't find it. <laughs> But I think it's in my notes. So once I find my notes, I've decided that the characters are named after the month they were born in. Because each month has a, like, deity that it is, af like, based off of. So we're gonna look up the main character's name. Ah, oh, I found it. So here we go. I'm gonna copy and paste this into my, like, outline area. We have the old gods and the new gods. So... Birth of the sister takes place in one of these months. I think I wrote it. High sun in the year of Eidos. So her name's probably gonna be Ida. Love how easy that is. I could do Ida or I could do Idolina. Idolina's a bit more romantic, fanciful. So we're gonna just do Ida because the parents don't like this child. Now we have her name and we're gonna continue moving in this area. So I got about, I would say, 100 words done for NaNoWriMo today. Oh, that door is not completely closed. It's not? It is not, that light is on. Um, we just dropped off the couch at the new house. This is Ethan, say hi, Ethan, hi. And now we're going to Target. We love Target in this house. I wish I had more writing for you guys to show you, but I really uh, don't. Maybe you'll see some packing. Will we show them packing? Sure. Yeah, some packing. Got a mountain there, mountain there, and a mountain behind us. All really nice. I am having a great time. I, you know what I need? I need one of those little camera stands. We'll see if can Target has a camera stand for me. So I feel like that'd be beneficial. I don't have an office set up yet because of course I don't. You open up. So this is what we have. We're gonna, this is crooked. I'm gonna restart it. I don't have an office set up yet because of course I don't. So this is what we're working with. Lay down. Benji, go lay down. It's 10 o'clock. I'm gonna write till 11. We're gonna see how far I get. Probably not that far. Um, but this is what we're doing. Uh, let's hope I don't get distracted. Another thing I'm doing is I'm taking a class with the root circle and I'm supposed to be taking this flower essence, which is garlic. So I'm going to take it before I get into my creative headspace and see if it helps. But I do think I need a cup of tea. Like I'm trying to check all my boxes for like, I'm going to sit down and then I'm not going to want to get back up for like a couple hours. 
making sure my water bottle's full and right next to my bed and all that good stuff. So let's go make some tea. since my last vlog section. Sinky Cat has made her home um, on the bed. I did manage to get some like good Pinterest ideas in. Um, and then I wanted to write, but I didn't. And I kind of, I, I'm not feeling very creative today. Machines, I'm probably not gonna hit my word count today, but that's okay. I'm trying to practice kindness while doing this challenge for myself. So, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna maybe try to sit down and do more kind of visualizing. I feel like it's so stupid and then write. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set a goal for like one more chapter today. Um, and if I don't make that, then so be it. But I will let you guys know I am losing my daylight because I live in a basement and I only get a couple hours of sunlight a day, which will be changing soon. Um, I'll keep you all updated. We'll see how this goes. Um, I really can't predict how the rest of the day is gonna go because either I'm gonna like get tired and take a nap or I'm gonna get a sudden burst of creativity and be like, let's go. We'll see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. But I do know that I didn't move for like 30 minutes in the focus, so that's good. It is 7 p.m. on Thursday, and I have written one word <laughs> since I last talked to you guys. I do have like Pinterest, and the dog just dropped the baseball on him on my computer. I do have more like a Pinterest board now with ideas so i know like visually what i want for the story i just haven't been writing and of course i'm going through my like doubts i'm like this is an awful idea why am i doing this i can't write a book says the published author uh um, i got this nice quote on my page that says keep your head in the clouds and your hands on the keyboard by marissa meyer thanks marissa it doesn't help me right now, but I do appreciate it. So I do have a Pinterest board. I literally have been so exhausted and low-key brain exhausted, like uncreative from packing, that this morning I just focused on trying to get a stain out of a sweater for about an hour. So I've been doing that. I'm about done with packing. I don't know if you can... There's like nothing in my room at this point, which is fine. Um, official move-in day is Saturday. Today's Thursday. Tomorrow you will see my introduction to NaNoWriMo. You're not gonna see this vlog till like next week, which is fine. But you know, I am going to, let's set a small goal. I'm gonna try to get to 2,000 words tonight. Hell or high water. Hell or high water, I'm gonna get to 2,000 words. I can do this, I can do this. That's only 300 words from where I am. I have a buddy, you know, obviously. Benji. Say hi. Hi, Bubba. Hi, oh, Bubba. Um, so that's a bonus. Um, I have a buddy, my boyfriend is out late tonight. So I think I can do this. Once I start, once I get moved in, I think the goal is to start getting up early. Earlier and like actually do things in the morning, like grab my coffee, write for an hour or two. I may try to implement that tomorrow because I've so far just been getting up and watching shows for an hour in bed. So 2,000 words tonight, 2,500 if I'm feeling fancy, but first I have to feed myself because self-care doesn't stop during November. And feeding myself is like the bare minimum. I have like a little treat, some pumpkin bread for when I'm feeling in the mood. 
Yeah. I'll keep y'all updated. I know what it looks like. It looks like I said I was going to update everyone on Thursday. And now it's Monday. But it's not what it looks like. I actually did do that. Hi. So here we are, Monday morning. You're in the kitchen because it's the only part of the house that doesn't look like shit right now. All the animals want something. Yeah, go lay down. Go lay down. And I'm cooking breakfast. Today we're having potatoes. Potatoes and Eggs. And I don't know where my coffee is. Where's mommy's coffee? I got a cute mug. It's a plant parent mug. Um, I did just receive a text from my friend whose buddies with me <laughs> sent me where I'm at in NaNoWriMo goes, Frankie, you posted about doing NaNoWriMo on your YouTube and your day count is still at this on day seven. Yeah, it's 2,345 words. I planned to write, ooh, I planned on my egg to write like throughout my move. Guess what didn't happen? That. So can you blame me? Can you blame me? Also, I'm wearing my, I look awful right now. This is my morning outfit. This is, I want flannel pants, t-shirt, bathrobe. Sinky, come here. Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Say hi. She doesn't want to be here. Do you not love me? She does. So now we're making breakfast and to catch up on my abominable <laughs> progress. I'm going to be uh, writing this morning, or writing for an, we're gonna do an hour in the mornings, hour at night, catch up. Because obviously, if my friend is messaging me, being like, Frankie, what the fuck? This, this is a bad situation. We're in too deep. We are now in a new house with a cat and a dog. So we're gonna have our breakfast. And from there, I'm going to start my day and do some writing, hopefully.